On the jobs front, the unemployment rate has dipped to a new low as Canada has been creating more jobs, including more opportunities for women who faced higher job losses during the pandemic. Statistics Canada said today that the country added 40,000 jobs last month and the rate of unemployment dropped to 5.1%. The agency also said that women across all age groups made up the bulk of hiring in May, with employment steady for men. As Eric Sorensen explains, even though there are more jobs, businesses are still having trouble finding staff to fill the roles. This fabric shop offers some uncommon services, custom sewing and upholstering, but one problem it faces is all too common among many businesses these days. It needs more employees. It certainly has been difficult because, you know, people my age certainly don't know how to sew, so... Um, yeah, it has been a challenge finding someone. More Canadians have found work and more of it is full time. Clearly it's good news. It means that more people are finding job. The bad news is that we don't have enough uh, workers. Look no further than the recent airport lineups to see evidence of staff shortages and hiring problems in the labor market. It's hard to hire that they've got to really offer a good package. Uh, good benefits, uh, good hours. The demand for workers is also forcing employers to pay more. Average wages have jumped $1.18 an hour in the last year. That's an increase of 3.9%. And in recent history, that's impressive. But the inflation rate is 6.8%. So for the average Canadian, their purchasing power is still not keeping up with the cost of living. For many Canadians, lower unemployment is overshadowed by higher prices for gas and for food. So we have the lowest unemployment in recorded history, that's over the last roughly 50 years, and then we have the highest inflation. And consumers are feeling whiplash. Well, is it a good economy? Is it a bad economy? That's where the Bank of Canada comes in. It is aggressively raising interest rates to tame inflation and along with it, wage expectations. The Bank of Canada is raising interest rates to make sure that the economy is slowing down. That includes also the labor market, which means that the labor market will not be on fire a year or two years from now. For now, Hillary Hardy wants to take advantage of the growing economy by opening from five days to seven days a week. In the post-pandemic world that we're living in, people are out more, so we would like to be open more. And for that, she needs to hire. And for many businesses, whether or not they sell sewing supplies, finding new staff is like looking for a needle in a haystack. Eric Sorensen, Global News, Toronto.